So a listener emailed me and told me about how her therapist had touched her in several sessions and how this made her feel uncomfortable. So she terminated the therapy with that therapist. And Paulette and I made a patron exclusive episode about that email and about touching in therapy in general. That episode is called A Therapist Kisses a Client. A Therapist Kisses His Client. Sorry, A Therapist Kisses His Client. Later, the woman who emailed us, she contacted me and hired me as a consultant for this situation. She wanted consultation regarding her rights as a client. She wanted to know if she should take action against this therapist. So I reviewed her documentation of the event and I reviewed the session notes that the therapist wrote. I reviewed the therapist's disclosure statement and his website. And I read the prevailing literature regarding the ethics on touching and therapy. And I provided her my opinion. And after she consulted with me, she gave me permission to talk about it on the podcast because she wants to help other women who have been abused by their male therapists. And so today, this episode, I'm going to dive into the documentation from the client, the documentation the client gave me, the documentation of the therapist because the client, the, the listener of the, of the podcast sent me the therapist's uh, case notes. And I'll provide the ethical guidelines that guide us in these situations and the laws. And I'll provide my opinion as to whether or not the therapist act, act, uh, acted unethically or not. Welcome to the Psychology in Seattle podcast. I'm your host, Dr. Kirk Honda. I am chair of the Couple and Family Therapy Program at Antioch University Seattle, and I'm also a licensed therapist. This episode is just for patrons of the podcast, so if you're listening listening to this and you're not a patron yet of the podcast, this episode will end before the content begins. If you want to hear the full episode, you have to become a patron of the podcast by going to patreon.com. That's patreon.com. Patrons get access to all the premium, premium episodes on their phones or on the Patreon page. When you become a patron, we'll send you the instructions on how to access the exclusive episodes. If you've yet to become a patron, do so now. Become one of us. Become one of us.